Well, John, I know I haven't quite caught my breath back yet. Have you? <laughs> yeah, just about, I think. I mean, one of the reasons I think it was not easy to catch my breath after it was um, the fact that I thought we thoroughly deserved the win. I thought, you know, it was, it was nothing, um, you know, nothing more than, than what we sort of worked for over the 90 minutes. And, and my reaction, I, I wouldn't have been quite so pleased uh, at the back end, but my reaction in terms of the performance would have been the same had we not got the, the winner at the end. Uh, I thought we were excellent throughout the... Uh, throughout the entire game, to be honest, obviously a few things to work on here and there, but I thought the performance was very, very mature, very, very good against uh, an excellent side who I think will be right up there this season. So I'm um, really pleased for all of those reasons. Where do you even start with the, the drama at the end? What do you remember from it? I just, you know, I, I remember actually the, the game sort of dying out a bit um, after we after we so after we scored. I thought we had a really good 10 minute spell. We didn't quite capitalise on that. The game died out. There were injury substitutions, a couple of fouls here and there. Uh, I, I always thought that we would we would have a chance, we'd have a late chance, and um, we just I think with the with the set piece that Colby missed at the back post, I thought that might be the one that, that did it for us. Um, but yeah, I, what I remember is just us. Um, so you know, we, we kept going, we kept going. We we obviously earned the corner towards the back end, and brilliant delivery, attacked it really well, and um, yeah, I thought thoroughly deserved to win the game. It was a brilliant second half display. Obviously down going into the break. What did you say at half time? Uh, there were just a few things that we, we wanted to address, uh, not, not a huge amount, I thought we performed pretty well up until the goal, we had to defend the um, set piece a bit better which you know, we'll, we'll, we'll obviously try and uh, work on but it wasn't a performance that I thought warranted us being 1-0 down and uh, just a couple of things, number one trying to get people a bit closer to Colby when the ball went wide getting crossed in the box, we, I don't think we committed enough. Um, bodies in the box in the first half and um, maybe we were slightly wary of the counter-attack because we can pose a real threat going the other way um, but yeah we wanted to essentially um, maintain the, the control of the game but when we did go forward just create a bit more in the final third. It's obviously disappointing to, to go behind again but what does it say about the team? We, we keep on saying it, what does it say about this team the fact they're able to, to come from behind again like that? It, the disappointment today was, was much less than in other games and we've spoken about this, I've spoken about this quite a bit this week. Um, one that really sticks in my mind was Peterborough. We, we went a goal behind against Peterborough. I thought we were really poor for 25 minutes and we deserved to be a goal behind and that was a problem. It wasn't the goal itself, it was the fact that we hadn't performed well tonight. I thought we performed pretty well. We were in control of the game um, with Wickham's only shot, I think. Or, um, obviously, Vokes had the one on the turn, but one of their only shots in the first half, they've gone and scored. And I can live with that. I can genuinely live with that. Um, first of all, because the performance was there. Second of all, because I obviously know from the past couple of weeks the lads' heads aren't going to drop. I thought the feeling in the stadium was one of, OK, we'll, we'll brush it off, we'll, we'll go again, which is a nice <laughs> spot to be in. Um, and and we thought, I thought we saw the reaction. The reaction from the crowd at half-time was, was great. It really helps the boys. And, yeah, we, we know that if we keep performing well, then um, hopefully more often than not we'll, we'll go in, um, not going behind. But if we do, we, we know that we can get back into games. How did you react to the winner? It looked like you quite enjoyed it. I did. I really enjoyed it for about three seconds and then realised it was good to get Sean Raggett on. Um, because it was, you know, it's it one of those uh, that, um, you know, because of Wickham's physical threat, uh, yeah, that was the we thought that was the right sub, so we managed to do that. And yeah, that, you can <laughs> you sort of can only enjoy those those goals very briefly because um, yeah, there's, there's still there was still I think a couple of minutes to play, which were a nervy couple of minutes for me. But uh, yeah, it was, after the game, I, I really enjoyed it. I've loved walking around the pitch tonight. It was it was brilliant. We saw the the joy in everyone's faces, and um, you know the the singing towards the end was was amazing. Yeah, you touched on it there. It must have been really nice to sort of have that moment at the end with the fans and, and celebrating and, and, and in and amongst this atmosphere. So, what's your message to them this evening? I just, I love it. I, I just, yeah, that was probably the. Um, I can't remember. Uh, that, that was the most I enjoyed a goal. Was probably the derby, go the derby goal. That was probably the most I enjoyed a win. I don't know why. Um, maybe it's because it's under the lights on a Tuesday night at Fratton Park, and the lads deserved it. And the. Um, the fans deserved it um, after a real few tough few weeks of, of travelling up and down the country. I, I'm, I'm not sure what it was. It was a, it was a, a great moment. The noise was was just uh, ridiculous. You said about the Bolton game in your pre-match interview. You said about the Exeter game here on the Tuesday nights. Does this top the list for you? Oh, I, I, I don't know. It's right up there. It's definitely right up there because of the drama later on. Um, you know, very very different uh, types of wins. And yeah, this will this will go down. I think um, in terms of the. Uh, those uh, real special nights that we've we've had here. So yeah, hopefully we can have plenty more of them. We've got to obviously dust ourselves off and go again Saturday. Another big big game for us. And um, yeah, it's, uh, that's what the football league season's like. See, Marlon was out this evening. We'll touch on his injury in a minute, but it must have been really nice to to give Joe Morel the armband tonight. 
Yeah, I, th- I think Joe Morrell's been been superb. I think there's been a lot of criticism around uh, Joe towards the back in the last season for what happened at MK, which was, um, you know, <laughs> probably justified. And, and Joe took that on board. I just think since I've come in, he's been he's been excellent. Uh, I, I can I can really trust him in the middle of the park, um, in every aspect of the game. And to be honest, I think over the past six weeks, it's the best football I've seen Joe Morrell play. Um, not since we've been here, but also um, previously. I watched Joe. Um, quite a lot previously so uh, yeah I'm really really pleased for him and I, and I think he deserves it what he's grown into over the past um, few months especially as someone who I think who is really influential in the dressing room um, he leads the line very very well he's becoming much more disciplined in his game in terms of just that slight bit of mental focus when things um, do heat up and yeah, it was um, it was great to uh, give him the armband at the weekend and I thought it was a captain's performance tonight and just finally on Marlon's injury do you know any more no not yet so we were going to have a fitness test today with, with Marlon. Um, it was a bit worse than we thought it would be, so uh, we decided to get it scanned. We're waiting on the scan results. And, yeah, a real blow for us, I think, because Marlon's been superb. He's, he's another one. Him and Joe, I think, over the past six weeks have just been very, very good in the middle of the park, dominating games. So, yeah, a real, a real blow for us, I, I think, but we'll get more results, um, or we'll get the results and, and have more information Thursday.